Hello people, this is Wii187 and welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy 13. In the last part, uh, we got in with control of Saz and Vanille here. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded because I've been busy with school, but uh, I'm getting back into it now. Well, at least today, since I have time. Um, and I have some CP to spend, so as much as I hate to start off the video with like some Crystarium, that's what I'm going to do and you're going to have to deal with it. Um, I do want to work on Saz's Ravager, I think. Because he, he still has, like, um, like his CP cost is, is 420 right now. And now it's 700. And once he goes up to the 1,000, then I'm good. I can leave him be now. His commando definitely... Oh, actually, his commando's already in the 1,000s. Um, but he's really close to that roll level in commando, so I'm actually going to bring him to that. There we go. Uh, I did not mean to leave uh, the Crystarium. And then... This is all, like, a thousand. These, these are the thousands, too. It's 970, which is close enough. So, I'm just going to spend the rest, I think, in his uh, Synergist, because I think that's what he's... That's what Saz is kind of best at, at least offensive Synergy, um, where his hope is, like, the defensive Synergist. As I've said before, so I'm not going to go over this again, but I really want, like, stuff like in Fire and, like, all the HP. Like, this is going to be so good for him. Um, and I just love Saz as a Synergist in general. Now, Vanille... Uh, I think she's already... Is she in the thousands for everything? Uh, there's the thousands there. And that's the... Th uh, yeah, so she's in the thousands for everything. So what I'm going to do for Vanille is actually focus on her saboteur. Because uh, that is what she is best at, like, for sure. Like, Vanille is best saboteur. Along with Fang. Fang is a good saboteur, too. Uh, but I feel like Vanille is better sooner. Whereas Fang takes quite a while to get really good. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Even though, like, in, in the long run, I think Fang is also great. Um, I'll just use it all. But I wanted to give some to her Ravager, but I didn't think about it. Um, but yeah, now that we have that done, I think we're good. Uh, I need to start, like, what time is it? It is 11.30, okay. I, I just want to see when I'm starting this video, because I don't have a timer going. Because uh, I'm using the HD capture device for the first time in an actual episode now. And I'm not entirely used to how it's going to go, or how it's going to work out. And I don't have a timer. On the upside, I'm not really, like, uh, I don't really care how long this video is gonna be, because it's been a while since I recorded, and I feel like I owe it to you guys to give you guys a long one. Um, but that's just, like, my thing. Even though, in general, I want to keep it between 20 and 30 minutes. I remember I used to want to keep it only between, like, uh, why am I killing the Flanborg first? That's gonna take forever. Because, uh, Flanator's gonna kill it. But it's staggered, so let's see if we can just kill it anyway. Um, this is gonna be a long way. We're not gonna get five stars for doing this, but... Uh, we will try anyway, as long as we keep up the offense. We're actually doing okay, we might, we're probably gonna kill it. The Flanderer is not able to heal it fast enough. I haven't explained what the Flanderer is. The Flanderer is the other Flan that has a siren going off. Oh wait, we did, we actually did meet the Flanderer with Lightning and Hope in Chapter 7, I forgot. Um, and they are a bit of a pain if you don't kill them first. They're like the kind of enemy you want to take care of right away. And I didn't set Paradigms. Oh boy, okay, well, let's at least get, I want Vanille to get D-Shell, and I want Haste. Um, and I'll give haste to Vanille as well. Alright, yeah, get the shell on it, please. That would be awesome. Alright, I guess not. That's fine. We'll just go and kill it. I don't want to spend too much time on the battle this easy. Especially since it, it dies like, like cake. Like that cake in like the, the, uh, the ass stuff movies, if you've ever seen that. <laughs> That's funny. And I think it's like the first one where like the guy like slices the cake and he's like yum and then he and then he cuts the cake and the cake is like no why would you do that I have a wife and family Um all right so now let's see What am I doing? I oh I have to go here. Okay. Right? Okay, here this way. I had to actually look at the mini map there. It's been a while since I, you know, did this and yeah, like I've just been so busy with um school and just my classes have not been letting up, and I actually, like, I actually wasn't going to record today, but I figured, like, you know what, Argon Matrix uploaded a video today. Like, he uploaded it, and he, Ar Argon Matrix, if you guys know him, he's a great up here, but he never uploads. And I felt really bad when he was uploading and I wasn't, like, that just made, like, my uploading schedule look really, really terrible, and I don't want it to be terrible, because I, I didn't change my paradigms, that's what I wanted to do. Um, so, <laughs> you know... Um, but no, Argon Matrix, you should definitely take a look at his LPs. He's actually also LP'd Majora's Mask in the past, and he's done a really good Majora's Mask LP. Um, probably better than mine. Although uh, mine is going, looking pretty good so far, I'm happy with mine. At least in terms of, like, the LP quality that I'm giving it, I feel like I'm doing the game justice. So that's good. I just have to actually, uh, like, LP it now. I want to have, uh, 
Okay, I have actually some updates about... Um, oh yeah, I want to do Crystariums, or Paradigms, rather. I have some updates about how this LP is going to go down. Um, it is... I'm not saying this is going to happen, but it's my goal for... Um, hold on, let me just do this really fast. I want... No, let's have Synergist as Archmage. Yeah, Synergist. And then we also want Ravager Saboteur. Undermine is going to go way up here. And that's good. Okay. Actually, we want Synergist Medic. Yeah, Symbiosis. Okay, that, that's good. I'm happy with this Paradigm setup. Um, but yeah, as far as this game goes, I'm thinking I might, at least for now, just... Uh, like, I'll, I'll do some side quests, but not all of them. Because I really want to start Kingdom Hearts by, Dece by like, late December. Uh, like, around December 20th or so. Because that's when I'm going to get back from my uh, Japan trip. I get back from Japan, because I'm, I'm... I don't know if I told you guys I'm going on a study abroad trip. It's been a while since I recorded, so... It might actually be that long. But yeah, it's a two-week trip, and I'll be in Japan, and I'll get to... Like, I get to go to the company that is, like, behind this Gaia. And I've never played this Gaia, but I think it's really cool. Because I, I know that's a really well-known game. And I'll get to see, like... Hopefully I'll get to see the studio for it and stuff. So I, I, I'm really hoping I can. And I'm not killing the Flanagers. That's a problem. Um... Oh, Vanille, no. Go after the Flanagers. That's what I want you to do. I guess we have to do it this way, then. Vanille's not going to go after the Flanager. There we go. Um, but yeah, I get back on the 13th, and then... If I start Kingdom Hearts on the 20th, that'll give me time to finish up this. Like, if I start uploading consistently again... Now, I'm not saying this is, this is completely going to happen, that I can start Kingdom Hearts by December 20th. But I want to try. Just because, um... The game's been out since September. And I actually haven't played it too much since, like, that speedrun video I did a while back. And that was on the Japanese version. And now the English version is out, and I've been so busy with school that I haven't really played it that much. And then Pokemon came out, and I've been playing Pokemon, so... Which I've already beaten, you know, Pokemon X. Um, I'm actually building up a competitive team right now. I'm trying to farm for dittos that I can use to IV breed. And it's a huge process, but I'm loving it, so... I cannot wait. Anyway, uh, there's a treasure over here, and I think, um, let's grab this first. I think, is there another treasure here? I just, I don't want to fight you, I just want to look. No, I don't think there, oh, I guess I'm fighting you anyway. Um, I'm gonna cut this out, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, that was nothing too bad. I just killed him really fast, I got five stars, I didn't get any drops. But, um, yeah, so there we go. Oh, I hit the mic, I'm sorry about that. I think we have a cutscene right here. Yeah, we do. That means I have to stop talking. Code purple! Looks like we ain't the only ones cleaning house. Code purple! Could be Lucy. Could be Fang. Come on, let's hurry. Well, let's go get rescued. We finally hit Code Pearl. I mean Code Pearl. Code purple. No, not this time. For once in my life, I am going to save her. <laughs> Alright, now you're talking. Let's go. I love Code Purple. That is like the most amazing thing ever. That there an airship can have a code purple as an emergency code. Like code purple. It's just oh my god, the statement is so funny. Just code purple. It's like who has a code that is purple? Code purple, I repeat, code purple. <laughs> Security breach. All units on alert. Code purple. Code purple. All these colors. What's it mean? Means we're doing our job, making a lot of Psycom guys nervous. Who are they fighting? Anil. All right, so now we're back with uh, Lightning and uh, Hope and Fang. Finally, I love this team so much. It's my main team. Let's hurry it up. Anil's waiting. Yes, they are. Okay, so we have this huge area coming up right here, and I don't know. How, I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. Uh, how are we doing on time? It's actually okay. It's only been ten minutes. Or about 15. I don't. Should I stop it here? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go a little longer, actually. Let me check their uh, Crystarium, though. Um. Let's well, see. Actually, maybe I should stop it here because this next area might take a whole video's worth of like exploring. Because there's a lot of treasure to be had in this room. It, it's it's like an area in and of itself, and it's all battles. So I actually might just record the next video now, if it works out like that. Let me uh. Let me actually like. Here, Ravager. That's what I want to do. 
just work on boosting this Ravager up. Um, HP and strength, because uh, Ravager becomes Lightning's best class pretty much from here on out. Like, Commando is good, but Ravager is going to take the cake for the best uh, Lightning class. And Medic is actually going to get kind of... oh, so close to Watera. Uh, Medic is going to get a little worse, unfortunately, for Lightning. Uh, Hope's Medic will increase. Like, but no, for Medic, like, um, for Lightning, I don't know. I find it a little bit disappointing. Because she doesn't learn a lot of the really, really good spells that a medic needs to know. Like, later on, Hope like Hope will soon be learning the spell Kiraja. Um, no, I'm sorry, not Kiraja, Kirasa. Kira he will learn Kiraja as well, but Kirasa is first. And what Kirasa is, is like, it heals your HP based on percentage of your HP that you have missing. So, it can heal a lot. Like, it can heal a lot if you're at low HP, and it can heal very little if you're at high HP. And I think that's a really, really cool spell. And then, like, you can top off, like, if you have too much uh, HP, then you can just top it off with Cure, normal Cure, so normal Cure will stay useful as well. But Lightning doesn't even learn Curasa, so she'll just have Cure and Cura, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Anyway, um, now that we've done that, I'm going to save. Actually, I should probably check on my potion situation too, yeah. Let's do that first. Uh, how many potions do we have? We have 19 potions. We're going to need much more than that, so uh, might as well get this done out of the way now. Uh, shop. Yes. And let's buy 80 of them. Yeah, now we have 99. Okay, that's good. And what can we sell? Uh, we have incentive chips. 10 of those. That's 25,000 gil. Um, I think that's it that we can actually sell at the moment. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we have 36,000 gil. And I'm not worried about like having a lot of gil. Uh, I'm, I really don't want, like, even in this LP now, if I'm not going to do every single side quest, like, I might eventually, but, like, I really want to get moving on to Kingdom Hearts, um, before I do that. This is a chapter 3 file. Um, this is a chapter 8 file, so I'm going to save on this one. Uh, because this was, yeah, that other old chapter 8. Hopefully I didn't need it for anything. Wait, did I, did it not save? I thought I saved. It didn't save. Why didn't it save? I pressed yes. Okay, now it's saved. Uh, so, save data 76. Um, I will continue this. I might actually do one more video now. I'm kind of in the mood. Um, and I haven't recorded it in a while. And then th this next video will be nice and packed. Because, like, look at this. Oh, well, you can't see it because it's faded out. But it's big. This area is, like, so many battles and stuff. And I'm going to have to actually cut out a lot. What I'm probably going to do is, like, structure it, like, where I'll meet you in certain spots and show you where these treasures are. But cut out a lot of the battles because they're really a lot of the same thing. But I'll show, like, every new battle. Um, but that'll be in the next part, so I will see you then. Goodbye, everybody, and I hopefully I'm back to recording. Hopefully. I really hope so. It depends on school, like I said. But if I can start recording more on the weekends, then that's not a problem.